My name is Kelly Shaw and I'm going to be your instructor for the day. Today is Monday the 15th of January 2018. Before we get into it, if I could just have everybody's names. Liz and Matt. Morning Liz. Morning Ozzy. Morning Kim. Morning Good morning Ollie, how are you all? Excellent. Has everybody signed their disclaimer today? Yes. And you all know that horse riding is a dangerous activity? Yes. Excellent. So we'll just run through the emergency stop procedure first. At any time during the lesson, if I put up my hand and yell out stop, everyone's to come to a safe and immediate halt. If something has just happened through the lesson that I need to respond to, so uh, as quickly and as calmly as you can, you come to an immediate halt. Does everybody understand? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, we're just going to run through a gear check. Has everybody saddled up their horses this morning by themselves? Yeah. And they're happy with your gear? Okay, I'm going to conduct a gear check. Um, Olive, may I approach your horse? you all very much for that. So today I'm going to be instructing you on how to negotiate your first related line. What is a related line? It is a measured distance of three to seven strides between a jump. The jumps are numbered individually, unlike a combination of A and B, which is one to two strides. So today we're going to be uh, going through a related line. We're going to be warming up over a trot pole, which is situated behind you. Um, during the lesson, we're going to be uh, riding in a two and three point position. I know in our last lesson we've gone through that. I'll leave everyone to play in their two and three point position. So the most important thing about a related line is understanding your horse's stride and how to respond and react to make your horse rideable and adjustable and flexible between a related line. So that is understanding how to count your strides. Uh, I'll be giving a demonstration, but one canter stride of an average horse is 3.7 metres. One canter stride, 3.7. So when we're walking the course, the average stride of a human is 90 centimetres. So when we're walking the show jumping course, we use four of our strides as one canter stride. So I'm going to give you a demonstration now on how to walk a related line. Now obviously every horse is different. A pony is going to be a lot more different to a big loping thoroughbred. So you have to be very mindful of your own horse's stride. We also have take off and landing. So we have to bring to a take off stride and a landing stride which is considered half a stride. So if I'm going to be walking a related line in the show jump course, this is how I would walk it. A horse has to land. Half a stride. So an average horse is going to land here, then we're going to be counting our stride. And I want you to do this out loud during the 
sides, I'll show you how. So, one, two, three. One hand to drive. everybody to count their strides when their horse lands. So when your horse's back feet land, you take off your first stride out loud. One, two, three, four. Now there's going to be factors that change the strides of the horses and some of these are in your arena. The horse is more active and in a more compressed canter so they might, their strides become generally shorter. In an open arena, a horse usually has a larger stride. If they're the line is towards the gate. Some horses become a little bit hot towards the gate, uh, wanting to leave the arena going back to the truck. And they're on heat. They're stable buddy. So many things can affect your horse's canter stride. So when you're coming in, you have to be flexible. You may have to use your forward driving aids to push them up, or your, you know, you have to give them a half halt and bring them back. So this course of this exercise is going to be teaching you how to count your stride and how to flexible through a related line. Okay, so now we're going to be start warming up. So what I would like everybody to do in open order throughout the arena, give yourselves plenty of room because we're going to be cantering. We're going to be uh, walk out and track right. Liz, I'll get you to leave first. And we're just going to trot around the outer arena. And then we, I'm going to ask you to the whole ride prepare to canter. And we're going to canter. And we're going to be in our two and three point and then we're going to be, come back to the trot, we're going to be trotting and cantering over this single pole behind you, and then we're going to be cantering over this, through the related line, poles. Okay, but I'll be obviously instructing you as you go. So whole ride, ready to prepare to walk, and Liz, if you can walk off first. Giving yourselves plenty of room. Thank you. 
Tell her 10 minutes.
not really knowing our horse's stride until we realised that we were getting fives and we were coming in a little bit awkwardly. We had to make adjustments and that's what it's all about, being flexible. You need to do these exercises constantly so you can understand your horse's stride. Obi has a big thoroughbred stride. You know, Max has a shorter stride when he gets hot. You know, he comes a little bit compressed. And Sebastian, he's got a shorter stride, but it's very uphill. So you independently need to understand your horse's stride. So when we put them up, you ride it the same, but then you all started understanding your horse's stride, and you made adjustments. So I could see, for example, Obi was, uh, you know, he came in a little bit shallow. He, didn't, he wasn't in front of the leg. And he was going to be a little bit of an effort, so you put your legs on and you got your four stride. Uh, Sebastian was really good through most of it. He did get a little bit short, but again, I could see you putting your driving aids on and saying, go, you need to go. Max got a little bit hot. So um, he got a little bit hot and, you know, he kind of tripped over it, but then you were like, come on, you know, you've got to keep using your aid. So really, really well done. And um, the next lesson, what we'll be doing is changing the stride. So we'll be making you do it in five strides, which is, you know, you've got to work harder and bring them back, make it in three strides, push them out. That'll be the progression. So does everyone, anybody have any questions that they would like to ask? No. Okay. So what's the most important thing about doing a related line? Um, coming in with a nice perfect jump. Excellent. Excellent. Having your approach nice and straight. Congratulations, we've all done our first related line. Thank you. Thank you.